Hello everyone, you are welcome. How to solve and find the value of this interesting exponential math problem, which is 60 raised to power 60 divided by 30 raised to power 30. So here I will try to solve this problem using two different methods. So here in first method, we will try to factorize this one power. So therefore we can write this power 60 as this will become is equal to 60 raised to power 60, but we can write this 60 as 30 times 2, which is 60, divided by the denominator with the same, 30 raised to power 30. Now here in the numerator of this number, we will use exponential identity, a raised to power n times n identity. So here in the numerator, we will use this one identity. We can write a raised to power m times n as a raised to power m or raised to power n. So using this exponential identity here, this number in the numerator will become, this will become 60 raised to power 30 whole raised to power 2 divided by 30 raised to power 30. Now here there is square over this number. So therefore we can write this number in the numerator as 60 raised to power 30 times 60 raised to power 30 divided by 30 raised to the power 30. Then we can also write this number as here we will separate this term from these two terms. So this will become 60 raised to the power 30 divided by 30 raised to the power 30 times 60 raised to the power 30. Now I just look it to this one number here, this number in the numerator and denominator both have the same power. So here in this one number we will use the same power exponential identity. So here in this number we will use this one identity. We can write a raised to power m divided by b raised to power m s. Sorry, this is b. a by b whole raised to power m. So using this identity here, this number will become, here we will take out the power common and we will divide the basis. So this will become 60 divided by 30 whole raised to the power 30 times this one number 60 raised to the power 30. And let's simplify these two numbers. So here 30 times 1 is 30, 30 times 2 is 60. So this will become 2 by 1. 2 by 1 is simply 2, so this will become 2 raised to the power 30 times 60 raised to the power 30. Look to these two numbers, these two numbers have the same power. So here in this step we will use the same power exponential identity. So from here we will take out the power common and we multiply the basis. So here in this step we will use this one exponential identity. We can write a raised to the power m times b raised to power m is here multiply the basis a times b whole raised to power m so using this identity here this number will become from here we will take out the power common and we multiply the basis so this will become 2 times 60 whole raised to power 30 what is 2 times 60? 2 times 60 is simply 120. This is 120 raised to the power 30. So finally, 120 raised to the power 30 is our answer and value of this interesting and beautiful exponential division math problem. Here we will try to solve this problem using the second method. So we will solve this problem using second method here. Now here we will try to solve this problem using the second method. So we will solve it here. Now to solve this problem using the second method here we will write this problem again. Now our problem is 60 raised to the power 60 divided by 30 raised to the power 30. Now what we will do here? Here we will try to factorize this one base in this method. So therefore we can write this 60 as 30 times 2 which is 60 whole raised to the power 60 divided by this number will be the same 30 raised to the power 30 now here in the numerator again we will use an exponential identity 
a times b whole raised to the power n. So here in the remainder we will use this one exponential identity. We can write a times b whole raised to the power n as a raised to the power n times b raised to the power n. So using this exponential identity here this numerator will become this will become 30 raised to the power 60 divided by 30 raised to the power 30 times this will become 2 raised to the power 60 now my address look at 2 these two numbers these two numbers have the same base so here we will use the same base exponential identity in this number so here we will use this one exponential identity in this number we can write a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n as a raised to power m minus n so using this identity here this number will become this will become 30 raised to the power you will subtract the power so the powers are 60 minus 30 times this one number 2 raised to the power 60 but we can write this 60 as 2 times 30 now here what is this so this gives in 30 raised to the power 60 minus 30 is simply 30 so this will become 30 raised to the power 30 times and here we will use another exponential identity so here in this step we will use this an exponential identity in this one number we can write a raised to power m times n as a raised to power m all raised to power n. So using this identity here, this second number will become this will become 2 raised to power 2 all raised to the power 30. So next we can write this as 30 raised to the power 30 times what is the value of 2 raised to the power 2? 2 raised to the power 2 is simply 4. So this will become 4 raised to the power 30. Now look at two, these two numbers, these two numbers have the same power. So here again we will use the same power exponential identity. So here in this step we will use this one exponential identity. These two numbers are in this form. So here we multiply the basis and we will take out the power common. So this will become, let's multiply the basis. So the basis are 30 times 4 and the power is 30. So this will become all raised to the power 30. Now let's multiply these two numbers. So 4 times 0 is 0 and 4 times 3 is 12. So this is 120 raised to the power 30. So finally 120 raised to the power 30 is our answer using our second method.